do YouTube. It's your boy Davis, man. Thank y'all for dropping by. Hopefully y'all enjoy your time here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it. And look, y'all, I'm here to give you guys the breakdown, everything you need to know about shooting my players, the most explosive, the most amazing badges. I see a lot of people out here grinding for these badge upgrades, but to be honest with you, a lot of these badges are deceiving. To me, there's one overlying badge for shooting that's so much better than every other badge. It literally is the difference between you shooting five for six, six for eight, a super good shooting percentage every game versus going 0 for 5 or 1 for 7 like you see a whole bunch of other people do. Let's hop into it, yo. Alrighty, y'all. So these are the badges I got right now for shooting. I have gold quick draw. I talked with you guys about that. Gold quick draw is huge. I don't think I need a Hall of Fame. My jumper's quick enough. Brain Extender Hall of Fame. It literally raises your green window from the three-point line. And did you guys know that range extender has an effect on deep mid-ranges as well? So literally, it's extremely important. Hot Tool Hunter. Without a doubt, the best badge in the game, bro. I tell all my stretches, anybody I hoop with, yo, you need gold hot zone hunter. It's better than any other badge. Everyone is missing full white, so it had people thinking off the rip. You know what? We need flexible release on Hall of Fame. Flexible release only works if you shoot extremely early or extremely late. Meaning those full bars you're getting slightly early, slightly late. Flexible release has no effect on that at all, bruh. So it's not necessarily really easy to make more whites. You just have to get more greens and the hot zone hunter raises your green window. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a few gameplays right now. And I wanna show you guys how overpowered this mix of badges can be. The mix together with the badges, yo, you can ice, you can use screens, you can fade from deep. And I don't even have difficult shots, bruh. Difficult Shots is another badge that is misleading. I heard people talking about it doesn't even activate for three-pointers, bro, which is wild, literally. I see so many people with Difficult Shots on Hall of Fame and they're missing pull-up drifters, bro. Difficult Shots is not that bad this year, all right? But that's enough talking. I'm gonna hop into the gameplays and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's hop into it, yo. All right, guys, so we're out here. Post commentator Davis in the building? In this gameplay, I just wanna show you guys how overpowered these badges can be when grouped together. I think in this gameplay, I only had my hot zone hunter on silver or something like that. And I think my quick step is on gold. But other than that, I'm pretty up to date with my badges, y'all. Let me just go ahead and show you guys off the rip. You guys see me hit him with a double crossover. B set a screen. I get an easy step back. Three. Hot zone hunter is the first thing that activates when I shoot. All right, I have most of my hot zones. I'm pretty sure I have them all over the three-point line, except for like in the right corner, something like that. So this opens my green window so much more. All these other badges have the time do not even activate. So to me, this is the best badge in the game. You guys are about to see right here. I drive, hit him with a little bit of a spin, and I'm trying to get to the paint, but eventually I decided to hit my boy rebound in the corner. He greens it. I am heavily contemplating what my next few playmaker badges are gonna be. A lot of times I just put on badges, Take him on and off the test and see what works. And to be honest with y'all, I think I'm about to rock with Dimer, all right? I don't have it equipped in this gameplay, but after this, I'm pretty sure I am, all right? Right here, I do a pick and oop with my boy Beast Mode. Easy work, easy money. Now, right here, you guys are about to see a prime example of what I'm talking about. You guys see me comboing up a little bit, do the behind the back to speed boost, pull up, get another easy green, you feel me? Bro, I know y'all peeped how long I took to set my feet right there, bro. The worst thing on 2K is when you're trying to shoot a standing shot and it makes you do a leaner or a fadeaway sometime. Hey, in 2K20, I feel like you have to take a lot more time to set your feet. Now, y'all see me comboing up a little bit right here. I've been in the lab for dribbling a little bit, but right here, you guys see Courage, Hop Davis, Step Back Davis, Pull Up Davis, and A. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, everybody misses every now and then, you feel me? Shout my boy Rebound for the rebound, all right? Now you guys see I'm about to cross with rebound right here. You guys see another green and another hot zone. Hot zone hunter coming in clutch. Hey, in the comment section, let me know right now what badges have y'all boys been experimenting with, all right? Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I think one of the most useless badges out right now for shooting is corner specialist. All right? I think if you have catch and shoot or if you have quick draw, just like anything besides corner specialist. You guys see the guy green right there. I doubt he has corner specialist on. I don't think it's worth it in this game, to be honest. Hey, so right here, I'm about to show you guys why I personally think Difficult Shots is a useless badge. You guys see right here, I'm about to fade away from half court. Green! From half court with it, though? I've been telling everybody for all of NBA 2K20, it is green or go home, all right? Full whites do not drop like that, so you have to figure out a way to get more greens. All right, no, no, look, look at this dude. He, this dude came over here. He looks, yo, he, yo. 
Hey, you trying to fight, bro? Hey, but right here, I'm about to go ahead and get in the ice to wing bag. I'm pretty sure these dudes sent the double team. Check me out. You guys see me going between two people. Coming back to the three-point line. Fading away. Green. It does not matter. I'm telling you, you do not need difficult shots, bro. It's lit. Now, this next part of the video is for my dribbling badges. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. Hall of Fame quick first step is what I'm rocking with. Now, I do have tight handles on silver, but it's one of those badges, like I said, don't activate. So, I'm not going to lie. I'm contemplating with my next upgrade, removing tight handles altogether, and putting it on ankle breaker or a dimer. All right, but now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a gameplay of how effective quick first step can be. And you guys are going to see I'm getting big greens out there, all right? All right, so we're out here in this next gameplay on the twos with it. And I'm out here just to show you guys how quick my player is and how ISO win is going to work. I see so many people saying ISO's dead, this, that, and the other. You guys see I get a blow by on my play sharp. Man, this dude is like, what, 175 pounds? Blowing past people? Okay, okay. Now, the next thing on this next person, this is one of my favorite things about this player. Y'all check it out. I hit him with a spin behind the back and hit him with a park dunk. Oh, my goodness. This is the first year I'm able to have park dunk, so I'm extremely happy about that. I think the biggest adjustment this year is just getting used to all the new bump animations. It definitely helps out defenders a lot. But if you know what you're doing, then you're Gucci. You guys see this dude's not even playing right here. I'm pulling from Limitless Green. That's the hash mark, ladies and gentlemen. Range extender popping up right there. Range extender, man. Like I told y'all, it is extremely deadly. Now, you guys see how fast the quick first step is. That's my only miss of this game. Shout out my boy Boogie for snagging up. I think I ended up just running past this dude right here because I'm so much quicker than him. It's ridiculous how Hall of Fame quick first step feels. It feels, to be honest with you, somewhat close to 16 movement with the Kobe escape. It is insane how fast Hall of Fame quick first step is. And that activates literally two, three times every possession. You guys see I get a backdoor in right there. As my speed gets up more and more, I could imagine how tough it's going to be for people to stay in front of me. Now, I'm pretty sure this possession, all I did was hesitation and crossovers. And you guys got to see, the speed is still insane. I got past this guy relatively easily once again, man. I'm trying to help you guys out who are trying to choose which badges you want to rock with, yo. Now, I ain't going to capture you right here on this possession I messed up. You guys see me using the Kobe escape from 16. And I cooked this man. I really took off. But I just landed a hop step. Cook boogie. He full wide it. And, uh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll miss, all right? I can tell this dude came to the park without his badges, bro. So I didn't really want to guard this man like that. Y'all see he hit it. Hey, midi right there. He got a blow by it right here. But most of the time, I play people. And I can tell they didn't really come to the park with badges, bro. I don't even really take them seriously like that, all right? In NBA 2K20, I only have one defensive badge. So the one defensive badge I decided to go with was Intimidator. And when I'm guarding someone on ball, it is extremely important right there. Y'all saw me try to switch. He got an easy blow by backdoor cut layup. Hey, I'm not tripping. But we lost the ball for a few possessions. And thank God this dude just, just doesn't care about life. Because he just like, I mean, I don't understand, dude. But we end up getting the ball back this possession. I got a quick steal. And take over Davis is a different Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how fast the speed boost into the three is. I'm telling y'all, man. I got the word with these badges, bro. I'm pretty sure I checked to see what I'm shooting. Yeah, I'm shooting eight for nine right here. And this dude sagging off. He does not know I can shoot. I got my badges, my guy. Nine for ten in this thing. All 21 on his head. Yes, sir. You can go crazy on ISO as long as you have your badges, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I want to just go ahead and show you guys the shooting badges and how they look in action, you feel me? This is a quick little upload today. And I was most important trying to show you guys which badges activate and which ones are not as important. And I want none of y'all to waste your badges. NBA 2K20, as the days go on, people are getting more and more comfortable with shooting. And I want to help my guys out, all right? If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, man. I have one of my favorite series starting up very, very soon on NBA 2K20, all right? But thank you guys so much, man. Long support has truly been amazing. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, Davis. I'm out. Peace.